Now let's have a look at the lathe nerves. So the lathe nerves rotates the spline around the y-axis of the local axis system of the nerves object to generate a surface of revolution. In other words, you can create something like a wine glass or a light bulb from a simple spline profile. The lathe object appears as soon as you drop the spline into the lathe nerves in the object manager. So let's see what that might look like. What I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to middle mouse click to get out of the perspective view and go into the front view. I'm going to hit Shift V on my keyboard to bring up the viewport front menu. Now I've got a picture of a light bulb that I'm going to give to you guys that I want you to load into this front viewport. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to use this as a reference object so that we can draw the spline profile here to use with our lathe nerves. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to grab my Bezier drawing tool. I'm going to start right here in the middle. It's very important that you start in the middle because the two points, the beginning point and the ending point, need to be exactly on this y-axis at zero. So let me go back up here. Put a point there. And put a point down here. This is going to be rough. Zoom out a little bit. Down here. And actually, if you're used to using Illustrator for your drawing, you'll probably most of the time want to use that. It's a little easier to handle, I think. But you can get by in a pinch with this. So we'll just keep making our points. We'll come around here, move over, and we'll call that complete. Okay. So now we've got the spline drawn. I'm going to get out of here and go back into my perspective view. And we can just take a look at that. So that is the profile spline. Now I'm going to select the spline, come over here to the points tab, and I'm going to select this point here. And I'm going to come over here and take a look at this value here in X and make sure that that is at zero. Hit enter and hit apply. Do the same thing to the bottom, click on there, zero, and apply. And that basically pushes these two points over to zero values. Because like I said, they have to be exactly on zero because it's going to spin around this y-axis. So let's go back over here. We're going to take our lathe nerves, drop it in the scene. We're going to take our spline and drop it under the lathe nerves. And there we go. Now we can come over here and take a look at the lathe nerve options. We can play around with the angle. The subdivisions. We come over here and we turn our lines on. We can see we can adjust our subdivisions here. Get more of a smooth model, the more subdivisions we have. We can also take the actual spline itself and we could adjust that. Also, if we went back to the points, we can control individual points on the spline. So I click on here and say that I wanted to adjust this point here. And I could adjust it like that and get different results that way as well. I'll just show you real quick what I was talking about when these things are drawn. If they're not exactly on zero, you get something like this where you have a hole in the bottom. So you have something like that. That's why you want to have your beginning and end points on zero before you start your lathe. So anyway, that is the lathe nerves. You probably won't use it as much as the extrude and sweep nerves, but when you need it, there's no alternative.